Hey guys, it's Jill again, and this is our last session for the uh, Junior Achievement Global Marketplace. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about how everything all comes together uh, with the products that businesses um, locally or internationally can provide. Um, and how, how do we pay for that, right? So what can you buy for a dollar? Uh, you might can buy a piece of candy, you know, at the store. Um, but if you were to go to a different country and try to spend a dollar, what's that dollar going to be worth? Uh, so how many of you guys have been to another country? Um, probably Mexico. Uh, you know, currently I think the exchange rate um, of what a dollar in Mexico is about 20 Mexican pesos. Um, but I think in Australia, the current exchange rate is $1.35, so it means that an Australian dollar is worth 74 cents compared to an American dollar. Um, so when we talked about previously about the way that products are priced, why they are priced differently, even in different regions within the United States, but also even um, why they're priced differently in other countries, it's going to have a lot to do with are they paying tariffs on that, What's the exchange rate of that country's um, you know, money, the value between all that, and then how do companies and businesses make sure that when they're dealing with countries, um, different countries in the exchange rate, how can they still make a product and um, be successful and make a profit, right? Because you got to make a profit at the end of the day. You've got to make money. Um, so um, I, you know, one thing I remember is uh, when I went to Hawaii that things seem to be priced higher there. But if you think about it, just about everything has to be imported into Hawaii. Uh, their milk is more expensive. Um, their breads are more expensive, uh, you know, different things like that. But then yet some of the things that are local there, uh, some of their um, fruits and different things that they have that are local are much cheaper to get there than if you were to say, try to get it here in Topeka, Kansas. You'd have to have it shipped. You'd pay the taxes on that. So when you come to talking about a global marketplace, all of that comes into play on how companies um, provide products, why some products are, are available in some areas and not others, and maybe why they're priced differently and they're not the same. So what you can get here for a dollar, you can't necessarily get for a dollar in you know China. So um, I hope that I was able to help you guys kind of stop and think about um, the different things and uh, ways that we uh, pay for things, the way that we buy things, uh, what customers want and demand, how that changes and how businesses have to be flexible and take all those things into consideration. So the next time that somebody says, oh, wow, this seems really expensive or wow, that seems really cheap, kind of what goes into making that, um, why that's like that here, and then it may not be like that somewhere else. So I really appreciate it. Thank you guys and stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.